when me and my wife first started homesteading, we first moved up here in our bus, as you can see behind me. Uh, we're about half a mile to the closest power pole, so we're off grid. So we had to uh, insert some solar panels, you can see on the bus. That's what we moved. We lived in that for two years before we moved into the house, before the house was ready. Uh, and it was tough. Um, but anyways, to have electricity, we got some solar system, uh, just a very minor system, small inverter. Uh, but we bought these panels and we mounted them on top of the roof of the of the uh, of the bus. But uh, and I, what I did is I ended up using the extension cord and I spliced the extension cord and plugged it into the system uh, to uh, to to charge to the um, solar panels to the charge controller. And uh, it's kind of really just kind of really. Uh, Hokey rigged. I, I don't know if uh, that's a proper word, but that's one word we use in the country. It's just really hokey rigged, and uh, it's time to uh, for an upgrade. So what we're gonna do in building the solar array, I'm gonna line the actual bottom of the hole with some gravel, and the reason why I'm gonna do that is because when I put the post in. To the ground it is a treated piece of wood but when it rains there's going to be water that's going to be running into the side of that pole it's going to be running down and even though it's concreted in moisture is going to make its way down into the along the uh the wall of the wood and the concrete and um so what i'm doing is by lining the concrete or the excuse me the gravel at the bottom putting the post right on the gravel and then concreting around it it's leaving kind of a hole, a drainage hole at the bottom of the post. And the, what happens with the, con or the, the gravel is that the water is able to have a layer, a small layer, where it can kind of filter and drain out, uh, work its way out, rather than uh, you basically building a small swimming pool and putting your post in it. And even though it's treated, I mean, after, you'd imagine after some time, it, it, you know, it, it's possible it could do damage. And it may hold up, but you know, I'm for uh, giving it its best chance to, uh, you know, to have the best quality that I'm capable of. I, I'm not the smartest man, but um, not the sharpest tool in the shed. But you want to do the best you can um, with the experience and knowledge that you have. And even though you might not have all the experience, that's how you gain experience. And you always try to do the reach for the best that you can, rather than trying to do something haphazardly or or just doing a, just a second rate job. So we got the bottom of our hole filled in with about, I don't know, probably about an inch to two inches full of gravel. This hole is three feet deep. And that's uh, what, I just, what I decided to go with. And uh, I think the hole is about 24 inches wide. I'm not per exactly sure. I had a, hired a man to come out and uh, drill it or dig it. So uh, we're gonna drop our uh, treated lumber, a six by six, into the hole, and uh, we're going to uh, concrete it in. Um, you hear the generator running in the background, maybe because I have to have electricity to spin the mixer, and uh, and the uh, it's been overcast. It's uh, November. So there's been a lot of overcast in the area, and so we haven't been picking up as much solar power as normal. The reason for doing this is because if you have your solar panels set up, they say, from what uh, reviews that I've read, is that if you put a solar tracker where it actually tracks the sun, that your system actually is boosted by 40% um, more, 40% of what it's producing, but more of, uh, in addition to, uh, more power um, and also the fact that my solar panels are mounted to the bus and it's not at a, a winter pitch it's I imagine it will boost it even greater than 40 percent because uh, the pitch that my solar panels are mounted are actually more towards a, a summer pitch rather than pitching it more towards the horizon as uh, we're here in the northwest uh, of the country of uh, United States Oregon so this uh, pitch 
having the pitch at more of an angle and tracking the sun, there's going to be a great deal more electricity that's going to be generated. So this is why it's worthwhile to actually build these solar arrays because you're generating a lot more electricity. Uh, it's actually, in the long run, it's actually cheaper to have a solar tracker to even buy more panels than what I have because of the, uh, the how much more electricity is actually being produced than just buying a bunch of solar panels and just leave, leaving them stationary, you know, uh, on top of the bus. So we're going to um, get the post down. We're going to concrete that in. Baby still works, haven't used it in a while. <laughs> Antique. <laughs> as best as possible. Well, the first thing that we're gonna have to do, as you see me put this post in, and this thing's heavy, I think it's still somewhat green. Um, a lot heavier than it should have been. But uh, I think the first order of business is I gotta take some of these two by fours and screw them up and make sure, sure uh, as I put a screw through it and brace it up to make sure that this thing is pointing straight up. Now notice I'm only putting one screw in it. For those who don't know, you put one screw that way it can still hinge. If you put two screws in it, it won't be able to hinge. And I need this to hinge because I need to be able to adjust this pull. So what we do now is after we have the legs on to stabilize it, I left this other fourth leg off because I need to be able to, well, it's just easier for me to get to it through the mixer. And I think it'll function fine. So. What we have here is a level, and I'm gonna to check to make sure this is level, have everything stationary well, and once we get everything centered right and set right, we'll begin mixing our concrete and pouring it in. Now that we have the posts all centered up, it's time to start mixing the concrete in the mixture, um, and then pouring it in. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> Whew. And see I'm out of practice.
Okay. Just add a little water until you get a good mixture. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the level on it and see if this uh, post is still plumb and make last minute adjust adjustments as the concrete is hardening. That looks pretty good there. And uh, that looks like it needs to move over slightly. We're looking good and all we have to do now is let the concrete harden and uh, cover the top with dirt and uh, we're in business. Stay tuned for part two where we'll actually be building the uh, mount bracket that will be uh, fitting on top of that um, post right there. So keep watching out for that.